So there we go. We got the tractor split. I don't, I guess I've never done a split video because um, I got oil leaking. I've never done a split video because it's, it's fairly straightforward. Um, bring safety stands with you as you go so nothing can fall. And uh, basically, you have your joint here. Anything that crosses that joint needs to be disconnected. So splitting the tractors are fairly straightforward, especially on these older ones. There's just a couple tips and tricks. Uh, the only specialty tool I have is, is this bar um, from Snap-on. The pipe is a 24B, and I don't know if there's even a part number. It's just a, the, the Snap-on guys knows it's just an inch and an eighth, and I ground, ground the end down to fit in the cast here a little bit better. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So here's what it looks like. We got a torsion disc. So on the early 4020s, you've got that lever here that releases it. You're just releasing this torsion disc. So all you're gonna do is inspect that these springs are good and not broke and everything looks good there. Um, and it's dry behind it. So our rear seal ain't working or ain't working, isn't leaking. And uh, so here he is right here. And I got the bolts loose, and uh, I'll pull them out of there, and we'll get them onto the workbench. Well, there she is. Uh, do not kid yourself. So, you know, there, there's how big it is. Um, you have an easy, easy over 100 pounds of iron right here. So when I go back together, I'm going to roll the engine, engine uh, a few feet forward more to give me more room to get into that clutch housing area because that suckers you know the 125 pound suitcase weights i can lift them one hand pretty okay this is well it's it's also not in a suitcase weight but you got a heck of a hunk of iron here and so pretty simple you got your separator plates and your friction discs are in between and then you got a piston and a piston and a piston and uh so you got C1 and 2, and then you got PTO. It, uh, yeah. So we'll zip these bolts off. Then we got some bolts up here. Your your pump. <clears throat> this is your pump for your transmission pump. So there's there's a lot right there, but we'll get it tore apart and we'll we'll kind of show you the breakdown. Well, there you go. So that's easy um so what were you can see these polish marks <clears throat> so the plates are kind of warped a little bit so you can see down here that the plates are tight together and up here there's a good gap well if you got that whole stack it's sitting on this gear and you got you know so they're stacked up like this that little bit of warpage adds up across them plates and that will cause that clutch pack to drag and that makes for poor shifting um uh, not poor shifting but like a a little bit of a jerkiness kind of can add some jerkiness or add some drag between shifts um and it can add a little bit of drag or lose a little bit of feel on the clutch pedal and so i hope this um cleans it up it was part of the deal of selling the 4640 is um one fall the other fall these had slipped quite a bit on me every time i was hauling wagons and you'd hit a hill in eighth gear you'd give it some throttle and uh whoom, the engine would rev up and so you'd pull the throttle back and uh shift to seventh climb the hill and at the top of the hill catch eighth again um this one everything looks really good on this one and uh pto is gorgeous i mean there's no reason for the pto to have any any whatsoever i mean everything in the pto looks brand new um and so here's your pistons um so you got these belleville washers and what it is is um two washers that are crowned they're spring washers and it crushes together so you got two set you got two of them to make a set and so you got Two and a half sets there and so they're that spring to push this piston back so the minute this clutch is disengaged 
they're very high tension so if you need to take these out for whatever reason you got a puller tool that comes out here and it crushes them down and it's a three-quarter like that so this little this amount of radius is exposed so you can get the snap clip out of there um do not come in with screwdrivers and chisels and start pounding this snap ring out because them things if they come out just right well you're in their path and that's not going to end well um and so all of them are the the same design it's a very compact efficient design um and so yeah that's as far as we need to tear down and uh hopefully parts will be here and we can put it right back together you can even see the discoloring on these discs and so this one's this this c1 obviously seems to be the culprit but we'll we'll see well here's your oil pump this little gear is here this is this is the shaft going to the engine this plate was right here and this little hub i like it to sit like this because you've got these steel balls right here do not lose them they're part of the casting and manufacturing and then they're there to plug the manufacturing holes and uh if you forget to put them in you will uh be pulling the tractor back apart because you will get slippage and so yeah but everything here looks fairly all right we'll uh we'll, we'll rinse that off we got a new packing for right there and we got a new seal that's why i took the gear out we got a new seal for right here so that stops transmission or hydraulic oil from coming into our clutch housing other than that we are ready to go back together all right let's see if uh let me close this let's see so before if you put it in fourth gear and you wanted to just feather ahead you couldn't do it oh yeah oh yeah baby that's nice Woo! got lucky there <laughs> it was um a miserable suck to try and hook up to the anything if you wanted to back up to anything and a a lot of drag is gone because before when you pushed in the clutch it just kept on rolling and uh we'll try third reverse and we'll see like we're just gonna back up to our imaginary something about first because we're super close to it we need just that half inch easy oh yeah oh yeah all right well on that note i'm gonna say uh job well done guys and uh we got to get this tractor buttoned up cleaned up and uh set down the road down the road so all right we'll catch you on the next one